this video is on slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is a form of a linear equation and it looks like this. Y, our standard variable, is equal to M, which stands for slope, X, our standard variable, plus B, what we call the Y intercept. And I'll explain more about what the y-intercept means in a second, but let me talk about what all of these things mean. So when I say y and x are our standard variables, I'm just saying those are y and x as we've always known them. We could also refer to this as f of x is equal to mx plus b. Function notation. The m in this case is slope. And the B in this case refers to the y-intercept, or the place that this line is going to intercept the y-axis, which I'll show you in a second. So, if we're looking at a linear equation, let's say y equals 5x uh, plus 2. That means that 5 is the slope and 2 is the y-intercept. That means that this graph, this line has a slope of 5 or 5 over 1 and that it intersects the y-axis at 2. So I keep saying intercepts the y-axis at 2. What does that mean? So here's a pro an approximation of the line y equals 5x plus 2. Remembering that 2 is the y-intercept. And what do I mean by the y-intercept? Well, I mean that literally it crosses the y-axis at 2, right there. And its slope, we know, is 5, which means it goes over 1, it has a run of 1, and a positive, it goes up 5, which brings us all the way up to 7 on the y-axis. Okay, So that's why it has a slope of 5 and a y-intercept of 2. So it's important to note that slope intercept form, which this is, gives us those two pieces of information, those two key pieces of information right away. It gives us the slope right away, and it gives us the y-intercept right away. So it's very easy to graph because all we have to do is look at where does this cross the y-axis, put a point there, and then use the slope over 1, up 1 to put another point, or over 1, down, or over 1, up 5, over 1, down 5, and that gives us two more points on this line, connect those three points, and we've got a graph of this line. So slope-intercept is a really useful form. Here we're given two points, and let's say from these two points we're supposed to find the slope-intercept form of the line. Well, the first thing we want to do is what we've been doing up till now, which is just find the slope first. So we do negative 1 minus 4 over 2 minus negative 3 y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Okay. Negative 5 over 5, which simplifies to negative 1. So we know the slope is negative 1. So what I do is I start off by writing my line as much as I know. I know it's going to be y equals. I know it's going to be negative 1 x. The problem is I don't know what the b is going to be. I need to find the b. The way that I find the b is I take one of my two points, either one of these two points, and I plug them into the equation so far to figure out what my b is going to be. So what that looks like is instead of y, I write, say, 4, plugging this point in, plugging this point in here, equals negative 1. Instead of x, I put negative 3, and then plus b. And then I solve for b. So 4 equals 3 plus b. Subtract 3, subtract 3, 1 equals b. So my y-intercept in this case is 1. So I can rewrite this equation with instead of a, a b, I can write it as y equals negative x, which is the same as negative 1x, right? plus 1. And that would be the finished form of my equation, slope-intercept form.